Welcome back to The Source, I'm Nat. And I'm Jack, and we're down at the Mall in Cribs Causeway because tonight they're switching on the Christmas lights. And they are. 10,000 people are coming down to watch Uni and Jay. Exactly, so we're going to be catching up for them for an interview later on this afternoon, but that'll miss today's Source, so we'll be showing that tomorrow, that's Friday, yes. on tomorrow's Source, we'll be catching up with Uni and Jay and uh, talking to George about living in Clevedon as well. We certainly are, but now I'm going down to Spike Island to find out what they do down there and about their latest exhibition. I'm here at Spike Island on Cumberland Road with Bridget. How are you? I'm okay, thank you. <laughs> Good. So, Spike Island, what is it? Spike Island is a Bristol based um, arts organisation, although we are actually also an international hub for arts too. So, we encompass a wide range of things, such as an art gallery. Um, we also have commercial studios as well as over 80 artists who are residents here so it's a big international hub of art. <laughs> yeah, it is massive and a, like you said a big hub for artists so what is your role here? Well I've been a volunteer for over a year now so my role is uh, was initially to take care of the gallery and the artists and to give tour guides and give information out to any visitors who may come through the doors um, about the artists that are resident here. So what sort of artists use this facility? Uh, we have a wide, wide range. So um, we have sculpture artists, we have a big print studio, uh, print studios here, Spike Print, um, which are their own separate enterprise. We have commercial studios for small creative businesses which do um, art funding for young artists and emerging artists. Um, we have part of the arts, um, fine art uh, studios for the Bristol UWE University. Um, we have lots and lots and lots of creative practitioners who come and work here um, on a temporary and a more permanent basis as well. Amazing, so what have you got going on down here at the moment? Um, at the moment, uh, excluding all of the wonderful artists who, who are at residence here and um, the, the uh, companies, we have um, a show by an Italian filmmaker who was started her life as an Italian filmmaker. Now she's a video artist, um, Anna Franceschini, uh, whose exhibition is on in the main gallery and goes on until December. Um, her art is incredible. It's um, based around the basics of cinematics, um, and so is a really, really eerie look into how light can play a part on. Uh, illuminating um, objects and making them come to life. So how can people find out a bit more about all of this that's going on down here? Okay, um, well I mean come come down and give us give us a look and have a little check around the gallery but also we have um, a website www.spikeisland.org um, which you can find out about workshops that are going on and exhibition tours um, and maybe a little bit more about how to get in contact with us personally if you wanted to arrange anything like that. Looks like you've discovered another gem in Bristol there, Jack. It was great. You know, I got my arty side out of me and I lost the cameraman for about five minutes because <laughs> it was so dark. dark. It looked pitch black in there. It was. Fantastic. So next, I'm going to talk to Maria Creighton, who's the head of marketing down here at the Mall, to find out what's happening later in the day today down here for the Christmas light switch. I'm joined by Maria Creighton, Head of Marketing here at the Mall. Hi Maria. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. Yeah, it's a bit of a busy one today. I'm, I'm sure. Is it like one of your busiest days of the year? It, I think this week is the busiest week of the year because not only have we got the Christmas light switch on the charity concert, we're opening the Winter Wonderland, so there's just a lot of bits coming together. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate you taking some time out. So, obviously, we've got Union Jay coming this evening. Yeah, very exciting and um, really nice because I think because George is from Clevedon. It's a little bit of a Bristol local connection. Yes, yeah, we're looking forward to catching up with him later. And we've also got a really nice support act, um, Rothwell, um, fantastic girl called Ella Rothwell, who's also from Bristol. So it's a kind of a debut performance for her, but she's doing some really exciting stuff in London. So that's really nice to have her back. Oh, lovely. Oh, that's great. So now it's a charity event, isn't it? So it's raising money for the Wallace and Gromit Grand Appeal? Yeah, so we started this. Um, it's a bit of a tradition now. We started this about four years ago. So we've had a series of acts. Um, and the mechanism, the way that it works is that we give away the tickets and um, we r suggest a donation would be nice to support a charity and this year's chosen charity is the Grand Appeal which is the official charity of Bristol Children's Hospital. Oh lovely. And how generally do people tend to sort of donate? Are they, are they pretty generous with their donations? 
Yes, and I think particularly with the Grand Appeal because it's such a local charity and it's mm. children and everyone knows it from the, the, you know, the fantastic success of Gromit, the Gromit Unleashed thing. So yes, I mean, and it's been really gratifying to be like handing sort of bags of money to the charity. So we don't actually know how much we've raised yet, but we've kind of handed over a lot of cash and they will be counting because of course it's in quite small coinage. Yes, I can imagine. Yeah. So. Wonderful. Okay, so you've got 10,000 people coming down here tonight. Are, yeah. are you prepared? Oh, are we prepared? Um, <laughs> there is a large arena outside. Um, we have, yes, yeah, so we, we take it very seriously. Um, there's a very big stage. There's a big light show. So what will happen is the arena will open um, just ahead of the actual event starting. So the actual event starts at 6. Um, Christmas light switch on will be about 6.30. Yeah. We'll have a sport back first, then Union J. Yeah, so they switch um, on the lights and then they do a yeah. performance. Yeah. Um, and then, so the whole event is quite is nice because it's early, and, and the nice thing is that it's often the first place that kind of quite a lot of kids see their first live event. You know, mm. it's a sort of safe, a place. nice safe sort of family yeah. event for them. And um, and then the Winter Wonderland opens. So at 7.30 the Winter Wonderland opens and then we've got somebody um, skating, a, a demonstration from a, a lovely girl called Bella Larkin. So she'll be skating on the ice rink before the ice rink officially opens to the public at 8. Oh, exciting. Well, so I, hope, I hope the rain eases off for you. The weather forecast is actually dry from 3. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. So just tell us quickly about the plans for December. So the Winter Wonderland stays open, doesn't it, for people yeah. to come down here? So the Winter Wonderland opens tonight and then is open every day except Christmas Day and New Year's Day until January the 11th. So all over the Christmas holidays. Wow. Um, Santa's Castle opens tonight, but Santa's Castle op um, closes on Christmas Eve because, of course, Santa has to go then and yeah. deliver presents yeah. all yeah, around the world. Yeah, he's busy that night. Yeah, so he has to leave us, but he just lives with us for a couple of weeks. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, thank you, Maria. I know you've got a lot to do this afternoon, yeah. so I'm going to let you get back to it, but thank thanks you. for joining us, and, and good luck tonight. Yeah, we're looking forward to a really good night. Thank you. Looks like there's loads going on down here, and tomorrow night you can check out our interview with Uni and Jay. Yes, we'll be meeting up with them later on today, but um, we'll be saving that for you tomorrow and showing you the Christmas light switch on down here at the Mall. We will, but now it's time to end the show, so I hope you enjoyed, and please tweet us at Made in Bristol TV, hashtag the source. If you're coming down here this evening, have a great night watching Uni and Jay, and we'll be back tomorrow. See you then. <laughs>